myself, I'm going to show you how to make natural rum. We'll make rope from grass, birch bark, and cedar bark. Good day. Um, so I'm out here uh, smoking some fish out in my backyard. So I figured uh, while I'm waiting for uh, my fish that I'd do a video on uh, how to make your own cordage. Um, cordage is rope um, out of uh, fibrous material. Any type of uh, fibrous material you can find um, you can weave into a piece of rope. Um, so I've got a, a bunch of different materials here. Uh, I've got some blades of grass. Um, got some birch bark, um, and I've got uh, some cedar bark. Uh, cedar bark is hands down one of the strongest materials uh, that you can find in the bush uh, to make rope out of. Um, now it needs to be wet. This is, this is about a year old, uh, so that's why I've got a bin here. Um, I'm going to soak it a little bit uh, just to get it pliable again. Uh, it doesn't take very long, um, so you, you can harvest this ahead of time. Um, if you ever needed to, um, and then just soak it and it'll, it'll reconstitute it back to um, its original state. Um, so we'll show you how to do that. Um, so let's get started. So here's just a few examples here of uh, some of the stuff that I've used. Um, this, is, this is a piece of, uh, of the cedar bark that uh, I had originally made when I when I harvest that piece of cedar um, uh, and it's extremely strong uh, I haven't done a weight test on it yet but um, maybe on a future video I'll do that um, but uh, it's really strong stuff um, hands down my top choice for for making rope um, but here's some uh, some other different stuff that I've used uh, there's some more cedar bark Take those out. Um, this is, um, I believe it's bark from a green tree, uh, as you can see, nice and strong as well. Um, this, I think, is some sort of tall grass, uh, some sort of tall grass that I used. Um, I think maybe it was um, uh, some goldenrod or something. I kind of stripped the stem and, and made it into strips and then and we weave it into a piece of rope. Um, but uh, there's that. Um, here's uh, some of this, uh, this this long grass here. Uh, here's a piece of uh, piece of that. Um, and again, I mean, you, you can take these. This this is just one strand, so two two strands woven together. And you can take a bunch of these and then make an, a, a you know a larger rope from from this. Um, here's some more different uh, different types of bark. Uh, sometimes they dry out and they, they tend to spring open like that, but um, um, it's not as strong. Now, it, you'll see as you try that, um, you know, some stuff is better than others. Uh, some stuff's not so great. Um, and uh, and uh, one thing you want to uh, be aware of is um, stuff like this, like knots and stuff. Uh, when there's knots in material, Whenever you're twisting it, it makes it very, um, very um, gives it a break point. Um, so when you twist it, it'll tend to break there. Um, so it's not great. Uh, so try and uh, select pieces that that don't have, um, like I've got this 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 green branch here, um, and it's got these nodules, um, which uh, that'll create a break point. So it's, I mean, it's not an ideal choice. Um, you know, the, the, the better solution is just to find something better. Um, I mean, there's lots to choose from out there, um, but uh, that's just to give you a few examples. So let's get started. Uh, uh, so I'm going to start with this grass. Um, just to show you, um, they use, you know, just about anything. Um, so this is a regular blade of, um, you know, wide you know, long grass sort of thing. Um, so um, the technique is um, you'll take two of these pieces 
Uh, if you're able to time in a knot on the end, you can do that. Um, I tend to just 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 hold them like that until I get sort of started. Um, so what you want to do with your first strand um, is you want to twist. Um, you want to twist away. So twist away from you. Um, so you want to twist away, and then you want to take this piece and then come back towards you over the other piece. And you want to kind of grab the other piece with your, your leftover fingers here and pull that piece there. Um, see, I'm, I'm kind of holding the, the twisted piece with my other fingers there. Um, it, it takes some getting used to, but um, you know, after doing it a bit, um, it, uh, it becomes, uh, becomes easier. Um, so yeah, twist away and then back over your other piece. Um, so yeah, and as you 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 get uh, better at it, you'll 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 get uh, faster at it as well. So you want to constantly be twisting, twisting away, and then back over towards you, twisting away, and then back over towards you. Uh, so just yeah, just keep going um, over and over again um, until. Um, you get further down. Now, as you get further down, you're you're going to get you know further away from your um, your other fingers. So you can you can uh, resituate your your fingers from your original position um, to sort of get a better hold on it. Um, so as you see, it's 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 going to hold together there. So now I can move my fingers down and then just keep going. Uh, twist away and then back over. Twist away and then back over. So that's really all there is to it. Um, and it, 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 it does help when you know the stuff is green. Um, it it uh, stops it from breaking. Uh, when stuff is dry, um, it tends to break a lot. Um, so you, you want to weave it while it's wet and then let it dry, uh, or you know tie it while it's wet, uh, whatever you want to tie, uh, tie it while it's still wet and then let it dry, um, you know around whatever you tied it to. Um, so um, again, I'm getting a little further down here, so I can move my fingers down. Uh, so yeah, just keep twisting, keep adding more. And uh, really, all there is to it. Um, and then you're probably wondering, you know, uh, well, what happens to them when I get to the end, right? Um, well, I'll show you that once I get there. So, let's... Um, another thing I probably should have mentioned is that... So now I'm, I'm, I'm approaching the end of my piece. Uh, the one thing I should have mentioned is you should always keep one longer than the other, so that staggers your your joints here. So what I'm going to do is take this piece, I'm going to twist it into the other piece here. Um, you know, this takes a little bit of practice also. Um, it's not always extremely easy to do, but um, you eventually get uh, started um, and I didn't go quite far enough so 
there you go. I finally got it somewhat started here. And I kind of missed my... There we go. Alright. It's eventually going to catch up. There we go. Alright. And you know, you'll have little scraggler pieces sticking out. That's fine. Just as before, you know, before you get to the end of your piece, um, you want to add another piece, right? Um, so that way there's always one piece that's longer than the other. Um, so anyways, that's that's the basics uh, of, of that. And now I don't, you know, uh, it's holding together um, on its own, uh, on its own merit. Um, so, um, the idea is that you know when you're twisting away and then bringing it back over, um, it's binding against itself, uh, and that's kind of what holds it together. Um, so um, that's basically the the idea of it and, and how ropes are made. Um, now you can use um, small strands of rope um, to do this as well. Uh, the only thing is that um, if it's if it's a twisted rope. Um, you're going to have to. You're going to want to look at which way it's twisted, and that'll determine which way um, you're going to twist it. Because you, you don't want to twist it opposite the way that it's already twisted. Um, <laughs> you know, twisting my words, um, because it's going to unravel, um, which um, you, you don't want to happen. So you got to pay attention to how the, the rope itself is woven, um, and then the direction that it's woven in. You want to go. The opposite of that, um, or same direction, but when you when you're twisting over, uh, you want it um, to twist the opposite direction. Um, so there you go. That's that's just a piece of grass there. Um, I'll show you the uh, the same technique uh, with um, the birch bark. Uh, so here I have a piece of your birch bark here. Um, it's a little thicker. Um, I'm not sure if I can split this a little more or what. Um, so what tends to happen is that it'll start breaking apart and stuff while I'm twisting it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut a few little little strips here. There you go. So now, um, same deal. If you if you want, you know, you, you can tie a knot in the end of it if you're able to. Um, that'll help keep it together. You don't have to hold it as as much. Uh, let's see if we can manage to get a knot in here. way. So again, we start with one strand, you want to twist away. Now with flatter materials like this, you'll, it, it'll tend to spiral. You'll see it, it takes a lot more twisting. Um, so you kind of want to twist it a lot before you flip it over your other piece. Um, so yeah, let's, all right, that should be enough. 
So again, with this one, it's going to take a little more twisting uh, until it actually gets a twist in it. Um, it's a little harder to, to manipulate also, um, but uh, eventually it'll get there. Just keep twisting. Twisting, twisting, twisting. So there you go. So again, just to repeat the uh, the process here, you want to twist away, away. Um, and then back over the other piece. And it's going to finish this strand here and I'm going to go check my fish. And uh, this gets easier the more the more you do it. Um, it doesn't take long to get used to. It's um, you know if you're you're kind of clumsy with your fingers, then you might have a little bit of trouble. But um, you know it's uh, once you learn how to manipulate the pieces um, and and hold them with your other fingers um, while you're doing it, it it, it gets easier. So anyways, it, it broke right there, but um, so there you go, that's, that's a piece of birch bark, and uh, I imagine that's pretty strong as well. Uh, if you got, you know, uh, this to a really long length, um, you could probably uh, uh, braid this and make some pretty, uh, pretty strong stuff out of that. So let's go with that, oh, um, so I mean, I, it, it's strong, but I mean, it's, uh, there are tougher materials out there. Um, but uh, certainly uh, better than not having rope. Um, so next, uh, we'll go and uh, we'll do the. Um, so here's these um, strips of uh, cedar bark uh, that I uh, was soaking in water here. I just cut them in pre-cut strips, and they uh, they're ready to go once uh, once uh, once I want to get started. So I've got four pieces here, so that'll make me two pieces of rope. Um, and uh, let's see if we can make um, two nice long pieces, and then um, um, we can uh, go from there. <clears throat> All right. Um, so now I'm going to start. Uh, with my cedar bark um, and uh, what I've decided to do is I'm, I'm soaking another two strands um, so that'll give me uh, three pieces of rope in total uh, which I can then braid into one larger rope um, so uh, I'll get started uh, I'm only going to show you one and then once I get all three done um, I can show you uh, how to braid all three um, so let's get started
we've got our nice uh, long piece of seated rope. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the other two pieces. Um, and then uh, we'll braid them all together and make a larger rope. Uh, I'm not going to show you that part because uh, that's just long and tedious uh, and I'll spare you the pain. Um, so we'll meet you back uh, right here. All right, so got a little bit ahead in time here and um, got my three pieces of um, rope that I've made from the cedar bark, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so now uh, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to braid them together. Um, it's a different technique than what we've been using. Uh, for, for braiding you need three pieces. Um, so for, for those who aren't familiar with braiding, um, just like just like braiding hair, um, you got three pieces, and one piece will always go uh, over the, the the center piece, and it's always in towards in towards the middle. Um, so let's get started. Bring uh, this one in. And uh, be a little tough to get started here because usually this is tied to something. cedar bark. Um, you can use that to yeah, kind of make a nice little bracelet I guess. But um, you can use that to tie uh, whatever you need to tie. Uh, it's good strong stuff. Um, I haven't uh, weight tested this uh, but um, I can assure you it's, it's pretty strong stuff. Um, in terms of natural materials uh, that you'll find in the bush. Uh, this is about as strong as it gets. Um, so uh, there you have it. Uh, that uh, wraps up the video uh, for cordage. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Um, and uh, we'll catch you next time.